Around 2,800 dedicated Newcastle fans travelled to Sunderland on a cold Wednesday night in the northeast to watch their team lose in the decorated and prestigious Chica Trade Trophy. But despite a humiliating 4-0 defeat to bitter rivals Sunderland, one chant made it all worth it. We've seen you crying on Netflix, was heard from the stands at the Stadium of Light as goals from Chris McGuire, Charlie White, Benji Kimpioka and an own goal from Callan Watts sealed a dominant win. Of course, the Newcastle fans are referring to popular Netflix series, Sunderland Till I Die, where every emotion throughout the 2017-18 season is laid to bear. That might just be an early contender for chant of the season. The 2017-18 season saw Sunderland facing life in England's second tier of football for the first time in a decade, and things did not improve from there. The best players left the club, several players on huge wages stuck around to zap them dry, a manager has lost his job, and the owner, American Ellis Short, dramatically reigned in spending. On Sunderland's final game of last season against Wolverhampton Wanderers on April 6, the club were forced to cancel a number of tickets in the away end. Why? Because they fell into the hands of Newcastle supporters, who clearly wanted to witness their local rivals suffer. When you thought things couldn't get any worse, this happened. Sunderland have cancelled a number of tickets in the away end for their final game of the season against Wolves after information suggested they had fallen into the hands of Newcastle supporters, Keith Downey, at Sky Sports. Keith, April 18, 2018 I guess the only way is up, as Sunderland sit in third place in League 1 behind Luton Town and Portsmouth. Still, I fully rate the Netflix series.